Hey, how's it going, everybody? If you're new here, welcome in. And if you've been here before, welcome back. I'm Will Shambeau, the connoisseur and collector of all things sharp and shiny. And today we've got a brand new release from Olight to check out. This is the Olight Prowess. First of all, thank you to Olight for sending this my way for review. I'm excited because this is not the light that I'm typically used to reviewing. I review a lot of EDC lights like this and like the Olight Baton 4 and the Olight Baton 3 Pro Max and so on and so forth. Uh, this is not necessarily an EDC light, but it might be one that you want to carry in your vehicle or with you when you go camping uh, or if you're just in a survival situation. This could potentially save your life, and I'll go over exactly how that is. But this is a pretty large box. Let's talk about what comes inside. Of course, we have the Olight Prowess itself. We've got the carry holster, a mounting spot for the carry holster in case you decide that you want to stick it on the wall, a USB-C charging base, USB-A to USB-C cable, mounting screws for that holster, as well as some 3M mounting options. Now that we've seen what comes in the box, let's talk about the light itself, because this is, of course, the star of the show. And I'm going to start by talking about this USB-C recharging base. I can't tell you the amount of times I've heard people say, that's really nice. I just wish I didn't have to use Olight's proprietary magnetic charging cable. Now, for one, I actually really like that magnetic charging cable. And if you agree with me and you do as well, you can continue to use it because you can, of course, charge it through the magnetic base itself. But if you are one of those who says, you know what, I just want to use a USB-C like everybody else, you can, of course, attach this charging base or you can screw it to whatever surface you want and you can charge it via USB-C. So that is pretty nice and something that I've noticed in the few days that I've been checking this out and using it is, is that because it's magnetic you could actually just leave it on there on the bottom and you don't really have to worry about it coming off because it's on there pretty good with that magnet. Now it's impossible to avoid the elephant in the room and that is of course these six LEDs. These are impressive. And this is a light that when you look at it, you might be wondering if it's just going to be bright as day everywhere you shine this thing. It has an impressive max output of 5,000 lumen and an intensity coming in at 15,000 candela, which is well, it's quite a lot. Now, for those who might not know this, uh, this is not necessarily a spotlight. This is what I would consider to be a floodlight. And that is because of the way that these lenses and reflectors are made. These are the TIR optic lenses, and that will provide a very broad field of view whenever you turn this on in the middle of the night. It also has a selector switch. So if you decide that you would rather have something like a lantern, you can do that as well because it's not just the front LEDs. You also have this bottom lantern. So if you were to say be camping or maybe you find yourself in a survival situation, you get stuck out in the wilderness, you could actually use this as a lantern light and it will last for a surprisingly long time. We'll go over that once we start getting into the run times. Those aren't the only cool features, however, because it also is IPX7 rated for water dust resistant and impact resistant. Essentially, this can be submerged in water for up to 30 minutes, which is quite a long time. And it kind of points back to the camping, hiking and survival situations where I think that this will really shine. Another situation that I think this light is really built for is those crazy times when maybe you're part of a natural disaster. We all remember what happened with the hurricanes in New Orleans. A lot of people were out of power and did not have power for a long time. If you were to find yourself in a situation like that, a light like this could be very useful indeed, especially considering that on on low mode, this lantern light will actually run for about 20 days. 
That is very, very impressive. And the reason it can do that is because it has a 3.6 volt, 5,000 milliamp hour, 21,700 lithium ion battery, which you can, of course, replace. So if this were one of those lights that you just hang on the wall and wait for life to happen, you could have a couple extra batteries stored up and then you'd be able to have light for quite a long time. Operation on this light is very easy. The bottom switch is for this bottom lantern light. And then, of course, the top switch is for your floodlight. A press of the button will turn it on. And then, of course, in regular O light fashion, pressing and holding will switch between low, medium, and high. And from a dead off, if you were to press and hold, it will go into moonlight. Once you flip the switch to the lantern light, you will press and hold. And that will engage this rear light right here. Uh, pressing and holding will, of course, do some stepless ramping. And you get a turbo mode on here as well. Before I forget, I want to talk about the beautiful diamond-like texturing on this handle. It's very grippy, but it's also comfortable to the hand. None of these points stick out as a hot spot. I feel like you could hold this indefinitely without having this become harsh in your hand, and that's very nice. I also like the extra effect of having that texturing on this charging base, which reinstates the fact that I think that you could in fact just carry it with this charging base attached at all times and you wouldn't lose a wink of sleep over it. The body is made of aluminum alloy and it is very tough and very light at the same time which is important for a light like this because this is in fact much bigger than your standard baton series olight getting in the different modes and of course the run times we'll start with moonlight mode moonlight mode is activated by pressing and holding the power button from a dead off that is five lumens and it will last for 20 days uh, low mode is actuated by turning on the light. Low mode is 50 lumens and that will last you for 50 hours. Medium mode is 300 lumens that will last 10 hours. High mode is 1200 lumens and that will go for 150 minutes before stepping down to 300 lumens that will last for 30 minutes. And then of course, turbo mode, which is engaged with a double click, is good for 5,000 lumens that will last you for three minutes before stepping down to 1,200 lumens, which will last for 140 minutes. If you do a triple click, it will go into strobe mode, and that's running at 13 hertz. There is no SOS beacon mode on this light, which I actually do wish that it had, given that it has a lot of features that point towards a survival type flashlight, and you never know when SOS or beacon could be useful. But I think that for most people's purposes, they'll do just fine without it. Moving on to the reverse light levels, low mode is two lumens, and this will last you for 20 days. A quick Press and hold will ramp this up to turbo. And what that looks like is 800 lumens for 20 minutes, 600 lumens for 135 minutes, or 400 lumens for 55 minutes. The moment that I saw the head of this flashlight, I knew that it was going to have a really broad flood and it doesn't disappoint. It does have a hot spot in the center, but that's not all. It covers a very wide range of an area, and that's great if you need to illuminate a wide area all at once. Paired with its IPX7 water dust and impact resistant rating, this is most definitely not a light that I would feel bad about throwing in the backpack if going on a multi-day backpacking trip. This could in fact be a lifesaver. Now, if you do decide that you want to pick one of these up, I do have a discount code. That discount code is REDC or Red C, and you can grab 10% off. Or if you are a Olight member, you can get a special members only price. So make sure to check out the links in the description down below. But I'm curious to see what you have to say about this light. Do you think that this is the perfect light for hiking, camping, and survival situations? Or would you go with something else? And if so, what else would you rather have? Let's have that discussion in the comment section down below. And by the way, guys, if you want to watch more awesome knife and EDC content, make sure to click on one of the videos that pops up next.